Deadlines. Responsibility. Responsibility. The algorithm. 586 months of email. Skype call. Work. 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 Come on, you can magic the toys onto the table, but you couldn't magic the trash away while you're at it? Sheesh, give me a break. Hello, my dear. You look lovely this evening. Wow. One whole year. And what a year it's been. So full of happiness and love. Ooh, I, I got you something. Oh, no, 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 no. D don't you worry about it. You've already given me so much. Uh, here, I hope you like it. Uh, here, uh, let me help you open it. It's a micro SD card, 128 gig. Uh, I hope it's the right size. Oh, good. I'm glad. Um, hey, I've got something I want to ask you. You see, I've uh, I've never felt this way about a video game system before, and well, what I'm trying to ask is, do you want to pre-order the new Pokemon game? Switch, you've made me the happiest monster in the world! How about some salmon run to celebrate? Hope the rotation's good. It's always blasters. One day, the evil Shigeru Miyamoto burst into the room and said, This game looks too good! Take out the story! Take out the partners! Make every character a toad! Make it bland and boring and remove all incentive for battling, thus rendering combat worthless! <laughs> And the poor employees at Intelligent Systems complied, for the Dark Lord Shiggy is a cruel and powerful wizard and can turn them into newts or curse their families or garnish their salaries. And thus, Nintendo delivered unto us the cursed game that is Paper Mario Sticker Star. And wait, what's this? A familiar face with a very special and exciting message? Uh, I'm Loxton and I'm gonna be at Arlopalooza this year. This is my real voice, definitely me. See you there. <laughs> it probably was. Okay, just relax it. Are you playing a game? Are you winning? It's a good game. I hope you win. I hope you win. Hey, win. Get the thing. I am. Get the thing. 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 I'm still the worst person. Yeah. Hooray! Yeah, I, I helped you. Zero. I, I thought you were to go. Thanks for the help. Yeah, you were welcome. One thing is certain, that Direct Mini featured a lot of ports. In fact, it, it was nearly all ports. <laughs> they could have called it a Nintendo Direct Porty. That's a great name. There are plenty of third-party games that I would enjoy if they came to the system, but I've got seven right here that I would particularly like to have on the go. So without further ado, let's do it. That's all for now, but I've got a question for you fine folks, and I think you know what it is. I want you to head down to the comments and tell me what your favorite donut is. I, I, I just really want to know. Me, I'm all about them maple logs, filled preferably. Uh, it doesn't matter if it's cream or custard or what. And uh, I, uh, I can't really think of any other kinds of comments you could leave that relate to this video, so, uh, so bye. I think, uh, for the most part, I think this is not going to be a lot of huge reveals, especially this close to E3. What? What? Whoa! Whoa! What? What? What a way to announce that! So, the real question is, does this entry serve up a fresh new take on the series, or does it strike out? That's a tennis term, right? Yeah, probably. I was wandering around and came to a cliff. I wanted to know what was at the bottom of the cliff, so I did what I would do in any Zelda game. I jumped off. 
and I died. And I was like, oh. Huh, I wonder what kind of nice fish lives in here. <laughs> and the question is, is this one treasure worth tracking down or does it totally stink? I spend so long on these puns that sometimes I, I, just, I just gotta go with the first thing I come up with. The other day, I'm like, eh, I should go check on the Retropalooza website and see if anyone else got added. You know, I, I knew they weren't going to. They hadn't updated in months. They had already secured the roster or whatever. I'm like, oh, you know, I'll just go see. I don't know. <laughs> AVGN is going to be there. And my head exploded. And I'm a new Arlo now, who is a clone of the old one that they kept in a tank just in case my head finally exploded, which it did. I'm actually the third one. The second one exploded too. I was like, oh, why did you bring me out of the tank? It's a, and upload the memories and stuff. All that stuff that you do with Arlo clones. Like, well, you found out that AVGN was gonna be a retro pollution. But go Head exploded again. And uh, fur everywhere. It was a, uh, it was a mess. Is that too graphic? I'm sorry. Anyway. Hope you like this. This is my new look. Whoops. All right, now tell me if this is too graphic. Stop me at any time. But me and Arlo were Stop. starting <laughs> <laughs> at Jay's butt crack. I was like, name a video game nerd. He was naked. I'm stopping you. You want to get some more cocaine after this one? Nice little hub, uh, lots of different places to go from here, so I felt like cool. I got a lot of different places to explore. Oh, whoa, not that way. No, not that way. And then, sick bag. And then the bag. Okay, wait. Okay. Do you get it? Do you get the joke? There's a joke here. There's a joke in all this. Who gets it? This is a loot box. What kind of stuff you got there? You always That's all the cosmetic stuff. <laughs> That's the funniest joke you've ever heard. Everybody laugh! <laughs> there you go. So, will it make me go ape? Like in the, the good, happy way? Or go ape? Like in the, the crazy, angry way? Okay, uh, lots of monkey and banana jokes out there. I probably could have done better. Hello, my friends. Arlo here, and today we're reviewing... <laughs> It also is disappointing because uh, it kind of dashes the potential for a new Luigi's Mansion game. Uh, you know, I mean, there, there haven't even been rumors. It's really just been hopes. Uh, but this is kind of like, well, now we know we're definitely not going to get one announced, <laughs> you know, in the next year or two, at least. Wow! Yeah! What on earth? What was stupid, yeah? Some of the most fun I had in my initial run was trying to scale tall cliffs or figuring out how to traverse extra tricky areas. A Kala Tower? Oh man, why couldn't more of the game have been like this? Surrounded by Ganon gunk and rubble? How are you supposed to get up there? A total head scratcher. Then there's Hyrule Castle. I had a ton of fun sneaking in early and trying to figure out how to get to the top. It's that puzzle thing A.G. Aonuma was talking about before the game came out, how in Breath of the Wild, you'd be able to go anywhere, but figuring out how to get to some places would be the puzzle. <laughs> oh, that's how. P puzzle over, puzzle solved. And before we go. Oh yeah, best part of the game. <laughs> the music in Tropical Freeze is like sweet, sweet honey in your ears. Except like in a metaphorical way, not, not the real way, like actually getting honey in your ear because that, wow, that might be one of the worst things I could imagine. And uh, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna lie down again. Oh, Making videos while you're sick is Awful. <laughs> Yo, Arlo. Yes. Good to see you. Yeah, good to see you. Um, I have a question I've really been wanting to ask. Yeah? Um, how is Grover every time you see him for Thanksgiving dinner? I mean, obviously you two are related. That, this interview is over. No, 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 it's done. No, get, 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 get the camera out of here. Get the camera out of here. No. I'm Tree houses? I love tree houses. Do you get to have your own tree house? 
or even multiple because it's called tree houses. I'm sorry. Hello, my terrific friends, Arlo here, and today I'm reviewing Kirby Star Allies. Now, now I know I've got a lot of Kirby fans watching my videos, and they get super mad at me whenever I say something bad about Kirby, so that's why you're really gonna enjoy this review. Let's get started. Kirby Star Allies is easily the best game in the Switch's library and an objectively perfect game. And, uh, th there isn't even anything else to say about it. I give Kirby Star Allies a perfect score, seven out of seven. Well, thanks for watching. That was a lot of fun. I, I really enjoyed making that one. And if you're a Kirby fan, you could just turn off the video now because it's over. There, there, there's nothing left but one really, really long end crawl. See you later. Are they gone? Next, I predicted that the Virtual Console would hit the Switch and that it would even offer GameCube games. <laughs> now, the problem isn't that Sean White is enjoying the slopes on his Wii balance board. It's the forced laughter. Each manufactured chuckle intensifies my grimace and only stops right when I'm pretty sure my face is about to break off under the strain of it. <laughs> 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 See you guys. <laughs> Hello, my good, good friends. Can I just say, you look and probably smell really excellent today. Um, at least I'm assuming, because um, to be honest with you, I, I don't really want to actually smell you. Like, you know, you know nose to you, smell you. Um, uh, there's nothing against you. Like, I, I'm sure you smell fine. I just, uh, I, uh, I, I don't really want to smell anybody. Um, Anyway, today we're talking about Nintendo and DLC. First, we'll start with DLC. Lair of the Shadow Broker is a DLC pack for the game Mass Effect 2, available on Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, and PC, and is available for $9.99. Just kidding, we're talking about Nintendo DLC. You think I would ever talk about anything other than Nintendo on my channel? Ever? No way. I got three words for you. Lou, E, G's Mansion 3. Well, what are you waiting for? Stop monkeying around and go try this game. I promise it'll make you go ape or bananas. And uh, I, I can see it's climbing the sales charts like a, like a monkey climbs. Um, it won't make you cranky? Gosh, this is awful. I need to hire a writer. It seems we have come to the end of my little review of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Perhaps it doesn't come as a surprise that I was able to talk about the game for hours considering how obsessed I am with it. What does surprise me though is how even after all that time, I still can't say I've touched on everything. There are countless things I just couldn't fit anywhere, or I decided to skip for the sake of something that in some universe resembles brevity. Like Blood Moons. Didn't even talk about Blood Moons. I can sum them up right here though. Ah! Ah! I am going to die! I am going to die! Ah! Uh, uh, is, is it over? What, 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 what happened? Nintendo's investor call also brought confirmation that a Super Mario Brothers movie is officially in development, but also that it's being co-created by Illumination Entertainment, a company infamous for filling the entire world with minions and by order of their real official mission statement, producing movies as cheaply as possible. The news resulted in an unusual phenomenon wherein the faces of Mario fans all over the world were stuck with mathematical precision between a smile and a frown. Behavioral scientists are dubbing this new expression a smown and officially defining it as that face you made when you heard that there was going to be a Mario movie, but that it was being made by Illumination. Lonely. So many extractors need to break in my new chair. So many parts can't use them all. Too much guacamole. Too many outlaws need to collect minerals faster. Do we have to play with all this trash here? The 90s toy magic made this mess, it can clean it up. So, without further ado, five reviews in one video calls for the single biggest whoosh in existence!
Seriously? Hey there. What's up? Welcome to the store. How you doing? Want to buy something? You should buy something. You got any rupees? I smell rupees. We got nuts. We got seeds. We got hearts and stuff. It's good stuff. Come on. Hey ya. I see you there. Tell your friends. We're open every day. Big sale on Thursday. Can't miss it. Have a good one. What's next? An Assassin's Creed game where you can play as Sheik? For Honor DLC with all Zelda races? A Mario Kart Trials crossover? Tom Clancy's Pikmin Adventure? <laughs> uh, I would be pretty surprised if any of those didn't happen. And one cool thing is that each character can share extra healing items by... Ew. So that's that. Now all that's left is to wait and see exactly how 100% correct I am. If you feel like heading down to the comments though, I would love to see your 2019 predictions. Maybe you think we're getting Pikmin 4 after all, or that a full Super Mario Odyssey sequel will launch next year, or that Wario will finally get his own dating sim? Wait, is it too late to add a prediction? There's this intensely painful moment where I'm pretty sure Reggie is looking for applause and he just does not get it. It's called we Motion Plus. <coughs> we Motion Plus. This is you watching the game getting erased. <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> As promised earlier in the year, Activision Bungie has released a roadmap for their popular online shooter, Destiny 2. The infographic details a number of changes and content updates that will be released in the coming months. Highlights include another XP debacle, some apologetic backpedaling, locking more previously free content behind DLC, more apologetic backpedaling, locking fun holiday themed drops behind loot boxes, a few patches that make the game objectively worse, another two debacles, and one last insincere apology to finish off season three. About that Mario DLC idea though, I just had to clarify, yes, I know Thanksgiving is mainly celebrated in the US and Canada. My original thinking was that the US accounts for a tremendous amount of video game sales and we often see stuff from different cultures and whatnot in video games, but hey, maybe you're right, maybe it's not super likely. I should have gone into a little more detail. It would be easy to use my Giants Feast idea and make it a pretty general holiday thing. I mean, who doesn't like to eat a bunch of food during holidays? Stick a roast turkey in there and it can count for Thanksgiving or Christmas. Christmas, and if one of the multiple new suits is a turkey suit, then there you go, it's Thanksgiving-y without having to be explicitly Thanksgiving only. Or if that fails, just change it to a holiday that's celebrated everywhere, like Independence Day. Is that all Nintendo has? <laughs> yeah, right? I would not be surprised. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Toys on every shore. The mistletoe, and then you know what Christmas time is for. Oh, it's the holly time in the lanes. Snowman out in the lanes. Christmas cheer is almost here with Christmas in my house. And before you go, fun fact, I come from a universe where it's pronounced Wolfenstein. Undertale. How do you even review Undertale? I'll tell you, three years late. However, there is something missing on Nintendo's online marketplace, a virtual console. But why? Why has that not happened yet? Why has Nintendo not taken their old games like they always do and throw them onto the new system? It would just be such a great idea to have those old games on this system. Right? Okay, eShop, what have you got for me today? Let's see. Ooh, I heard good things about this game Celeste. Maybe I should give it a try. Oh, but they just put Super Metroid on here. Uh, okay, one time through Super Metroid real quick. Alrighty, I'm back. Time to give this indie darling a go. Purchasing Celeste. Oh, but man, look at all these games I'm already sure I'll like. Uh, okay, you know what? Link to the Past, Donkey Kong Country, and Yoshi's Island real, real quick, then Celeste.
Okay, well that was a nice trip down memory lane, but now I'm finally ready to get my Celeste on. That is right, not a single thing in this entire world can stop me from playing this independent gem that Destructoid's Kevin Mercer called an essential gaming experience. Here we go, let's, um... Um... Okay, just to get it out of my system, every N64 game I ever loved. That's it, I am done, I've got no more classic games to play, and I am ready, and I am pumped to finally play this game. Nendies like this should be supported, after all, we've got to further the art of video games. Always be looking forward, that's what I always say. I've got eShop money to spend, and a free evening, so now, to purchase Celeste. Oh, what's this update? We're happy to announce that the entire GameCube library is now available on the Virtual Console. And, if you'll pardon me for a moment, the kid inside of me needs to explain this next scene because he is much more qualified than I am for this. <gasps> There's this one part where Ganondorf wants to set off all these subspace bombs, and Rob is like, No, I changed my mind! I'm a good guy now! And then they go off anyway, and everyone has to run away, and it's like, Bwah! So this giant Death Star space warship comes out of the black hole, and it's like, Bwah! And everyone's in the halberd, and they're like, No! And it blows up the halberd! Bwah! And then the R-Wing and Samus' gunship and all the different Nintendo ships come out, and they're like, yeah! Pshup, 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 go! And Kirby comes in on his dragon, and he's like, Papa Sakurai loves me most! And swing, he destroys a giant gun, and Gandorf's like, no! But then everyone gets sucked into the back hall! Ah! So there it is, my friends. That is the wish list that I'm sending to Reggie Claus right now. I would love it if you went down to the comments and, of course, gave me your wish list for 2019 that you are sending to Reggie Claus. And, um, just keep your fingers crossed, man. Just keep them fingers crossed. Hope you were good. Hope you didn't play any other systems this year. You know, Reggie Claus doesn't like that. He doesn't want you to play no Xbox, no PlayStation, no PC, nothing. And you had to buy all the first party releases and all the DLC for them. That that, that That's how to be nice on uh, on Reggie Claus's list. Yeah, for sure. He's, he's definitely petty like that. Well, I hope you all get what you want. I hope you all have a wonderful holiday season. And, um... Whoa, whoa! Whoa, another amazing thing is happening on the green screen! Whoa! That's amazing. Wow, look at that. Look at that right there. And until next time, don't trust any birds! Not even once! Seriously, take it from me! Birds! Don't trust them! Never! Not after last time! Not after last time!